So here we have the challenge at the beginning of the morning of the changing world and the new skills needed, and we have a challenge of dependent teachers. And I saw that as a leadership challenge. What we need, therefore, is to try and help create conditions where teachers who already have been working um, on developing the professional learning community, where there may be inquiry and good professional learning and you've got some trusting relationships, but how can you get people to step up a little bit more and be more proactive? When we think about creativity, people think it's either aha moments or it's whimsical. It's not. It's extremely purposeful. It's in the service of where you're trying to go, how you're going to get there. But out of it comes something new, something original. But it's in value. It's of value. So it may not be, that original thing may not be higher examination results or test scores or whatever. You need to know what it is that you've decided you want to bring about a change to. It may be that children and young people are more environmentally aware or that their resilience is stronger or you're making some other change. And the outcomes have to be of value to that. We carried out about 300, 400 interviews with people in the different schools and I've subsequently looked at the research from different companies. Are there any there that surprise you? Keep referring back to core values, remembering that you have a purpose. Um, that you know what you're doing, you know what's important, so not, not just going off on a whimsy. They chose uh, a bibliography with a, re a research base, they chose an aspect with no leadership role, um, they chose a skeptic, a convertible skeptic. Now there is a powerful way of getting someone involved. Good words, nice words that you don't often put together. A convertible skeptic and they involved pupils. They um, started on the basis of the fact that they hadn't really been thinking about learning and what was their learning policy? What did they understand about learning? And they got their whole large staff together and decided that they were going to develop their own policy of learning, their own uh, understanding about learning, and their own vision. And they got them all drawing pictures. And they came up with a whole range of pictures, which they then posted around the corridors of the school for two or three weeks. And people would go past, and they would add ideas, change them. And they came up with their learning wheel. They found remarkable shifts in attitudes of teachers, in practices of teachers, and certainly for some of those students, uh, in changes in learning. We had to ask them, how do you judge whether creative leadership has been successful? And these were some of the ways that the schools talked about creative leadership being successful. What is it if you were trying to do those things, to open up ideas? Um, what is it that you would want to see as an outcome? What would you want to see as an outcome for your leadership team? What would you want to see as an outcome for teachers? What difference would you want to see for students, starting with the end in mind? And what will it look like when staff are more creative in their practice? What will it mean? Increased confidence, perhaps, to be able to try something new and different. We, we know that uh, a lot of teachers are very risk averse. So the final reflection for you is if we go back and we say, if we track transfer, and remember we talked about that uh, in a previous session, 
and I kept on referring to Lorna Earls, starting with the end in mind. This flips the transfer around the other way. It says if we start with the end in mind, we always say what difference are we going to make for the children, and we will make the difference for children if we change practices and structures in school, um, and structure, architecture, ritual cultures, and our leadership, that includes teaching practice and leadership practice. We need to have our learning conversations and we need to do things like lesson study, Japanese lesson study, observing, collecting evidence, inquiry that helps us to create that knowledge, sharing it around through the learning conversations, through our um, remembering remembering those social networks, knowing who our influential people are, maybe having vertical teams. And we need to be developing our school's professional learning community and the, the learning communities between schools and getting a good relationship between them.